Hey, what's happening, guys? Hope you all had a great Christmas and happy Boxing Day to those of you in the UK. Today we're going to continue our 7400 Logic series, and today we're going to talk about the uh, 74HC74N. It is a dual D-type flip-flop. A pretty interesting chip. It can do a, a lot of neat stuff. So first, let's uh, let's draw the chip here. It's a 14-pin dip. <laughs> Trying to get them all in. So, like most of our standard 14-pin 7400. Pin 14 goes to VCC. Pin 7 goes to ground. Now this chip can run from as low as 2 volts to as high as 6 volts, but you want to be about 5 volts. That is the nominal voltage range. And it's good, the output, continuous output, for about 25 milliamps. Now it has, we're just going to uh, work on one of the flip-flops, there's two, there's one on each side of the chip, but we really only need one. So it has two outputs, output 5, pin 5 and 6, pin 5 is called Q, and pin 6 is called not Q, okay? Now, uh, pin 1 is our clear and it is an active low pin 2 is our D or data input uh, pin 3 is our clock and pin 4 is preset also low so for right now we're, we're kinda gonna ignore our clear and our preset and we're just going to concentrate on our data and our clock and how they affect the outputs Q and not Q. Okay? So let's move on to uh, our application drawing. So we'll call this our chip here. And this will be our 5 volt rail and this will be our negative rail. So again, pin 7 to ground, pin 14 to our VCC. Now we're going to put LEDs because they're simple to work with on our Q and not Q outputs just like that so when Q is active on pin 5 this LED will light when not Q is active on pin 6 this LED will light alright now pin 1 we're going to hold high with a pull-up resistor. Pin 2, another resistor, we're going to attach an LED so that we can see when we're inputting data. Pin 3, same as pin 2, another LED so that we can see when our clock is high and pin 4 we are just going to hold high now our resistor values here on pin 1 and 4 are 10k standard pull up resistors and our resistor values on pins 5, 6 to 
on two, three, five, and six are just a low value resistor for those LEDs, so I'm going to use 330R. Okay, so that is our basic setup. Now we do need one more thing here. We need a switch. And the switch is going to go to VCC and then it is going to attach to pin 3. Oh, I forgot to write those, didn't I? 2, 3, 4. Okay, like that. And that is going to be our clock switch. And then on pin 2, we're going to attach a wire and we're going to leave it floating. The reason we're going to leave it floating is so that we can just easily move it between low and high. So let's bring in the circuit. Okay, here's our circuit just like we talked about. Our red LED here is our Q output from pin 5. This one is a green LED and it is our not Q output. Over here we have our um, D input. It's also a green LED. And here we have our clock input, also a green LED. So we start out with the case of D floating. And the way everything is set, our Q output is high. Now if we bring D high, and you can see our D is now high, nothing changes. Our Q is high, not Q is low. And if we clock it, nothing changes. Now if we make Q low, because we had a clock pulse, I'm sorry, we make Q low, we made D low, because we had a clock pulse, Q went low, not Q went high. And now because the way the flip-flop works, it will only change state with a clock pulse. So if I move from low to high, on our D input, nothing changes until I clock it. Now we have Q high and not Q low. And if I go like this and bring D back to low, Q remains high, not Q doesn't come high until we have another clock pulse. So basically what we have is a latching flip-flop. You can change the state of your data input but the output, or let's call it the memory of the flip-flop, does not change until it's been clocked. So this is basically a one-bit memory. I mean, also, it's, it's used as, as a high-low switch in a couple of applications. But try and think of it as a one-bit memory. It will remember the state that you put the output in until you clock it. So like I said, we can change our D input high and low, doesn't matter, until it receives a clock put input, nothing changes. Now there are other flip-flops such as the JK flip-flop that we'll get into later, but this is just the D-type flip-flop, and it's also called a delay flip-flop. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.